Welcome peeps to TacosTheGeeks.com versus Justin here and today we are going to be taking a look at the adventures of Batman and Robin for the Sega Genesis versus the adventures of Batman and Robin for the Super Nintendo and I have to say I had the Sega Genesis version it holds a dear place in my heart I also enjoy the Super Nintendo version when I went over to my friend's house back in the days when you had to go to your friend's house to do multiplayer old man Williams anyway um, so this one is gonna be very very tough to do especially me having a kind of bias to the Sega Genesis because I was a Sega Genesis owner but let's get started here's graphics and gameplay and we're gonna start off with the Sega Genesis version let's first start off with the graphics graphically the game looks great it has this real aesthetic feel to it uh, it feels just like the Adventures of Batman and Robin when it comes to the character design. I'm not sure when it comes to the enemies, this, uh, these guys who look like Joker clowns or, you know, uh, people from the circus that the Joker employs. But I will definitely have to say the graphic from the character designs of Batman looks really great. I love the animation of the cape and I think it looks really good. Now let's talk a little bit about the gameplay because the gameplay is way different than the Super Nintendo. The gameplay here is, first of all, it's a very tough game to play. You are armed with just, it's, think of it as a side scroller, uh, kind of like a Contra-ish type of shooter type of game where Batman's just throwing his various forms of batterings at the enemy to clear out the uh, the stages. And you have various enemies here as you see that big uh, Beluka right there. And then you have the regular circus guys here and then you have the shooters. It's a very tough game because it throws enemies at you wave after wave after wave. And it's really, really, really hard, especially single player. But if you have your friend, it gets a little bit easier. Um, just to talk about a little bit of the differences here, for those who never, uh, for the, you know, those who are of the younger generation, this game had kind of an exclusiveness to it as well. The Super Nintendo had various villains from Batman's Rogue Gallery. The Super Nintendo had the Penguin, Catwoman, Poison Ivy, and Joker, and the Riddler, while the Sega Genesis game had Two-Face, Mad Hatter, Mr. Freeze, and the Joker. And I would definitely have to say the Rose Gallery wise, I have to give it to the um, definitely have to give it to the Sega Genesis because I like those villains better. And it was just a unique take on the villains as well. Each level was designed specifically for that type of villain, which you also see in the Super Nintendo game as well. But gameplay wise, um, it's kind of gets a little bit repetitive. Um, so I would definitely say while it's good, we're gonna have to see how the Super Nintendo did. Now the Super Nintendo's approach was way different and i would definitely have to say i'll say it right now and it pains me to say this because i am biased because i absolutely love the sega genesis version but when it comes to graphics and gameplay and presentation the super nintendo is far superior and i'm going to list a couple of reasons why first reason why is that it has an actual story you have a game that actually has a story and it takes pages and it takes beats from beats notes from the actual show. So you have something that you can grasp, you can turn on and grasp your hands on and say, hey, wow, there's some actual story here. There's some actual reasons for me to be the Batman. So that's actually something I really like. While wow, the Sega Genesis, you just, it just throws you in, no story, no background, just side scroll shoot. You know, dodge, kick, and everything else like that. While the Super Nintendo actually takes time to present a story, flesh out some characters, and just at least give you a setup of concept of what this is. And I absolutely love it. Just from the presentation alone, just the way from the title card, I'm used to death. The nice use of background and colors. And just the way the graphics are, it's way better. Like I said, the best graphics for the Sega Genesis was the character animations of Batman and Robin and the villains. But the way the size was, you can kind of, you can't really see the facial features as you see them here. And the Super Nintendo version, which is a little bit more superior, which is, excuse me, way more superior. And I thought another great thing about this is that you're able to choose your gadgets compared to the Sega Genesis, which is just you throwing various batterings and collecting the same power to make it stronger. Here, you actually have gadgets to use, such as a gas mask, flash, uh, 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 night vision, the bat grapple, as you saw. Now let's talk about the graphics again. Look how beautiful Gotham City is. This is straight 
from the actual show. The aesthetics, the use of the way the guns are shot, the way Batman is fighting, the way he's running, the way he is just roaming around Gotham. It captures the show perfectly. Just the use of the backgrounds, the screens that the show that you used to watch on Fox. This is a absolute beauty and it still holds up to this day gameplay is more of a side scroll beat em up which works best for batman you also have various gadgets using the shoulder buttons on your snes to switch to weapons which i thought was very well done this is a very detailed game and it works perfectly so when it comes to graphics and gameplay the super nintendo is far more superior now let's talk about music Now that you heard a lengthy, lengthy um, segment of the actual music, which one is better? Hands down, I am going to go with the Sega Genesis. This is one of those scores that is remembered by YouTubers, by DJs. People still use this score in the clubs, you know, certain clubs and things like that. It's remixed. It's you, you, it is a underrated but beautiful, beautiful score. Now, I have to say that the Shirley Walker actual composition is included in the Super Nintendo. So from a technicality standpoint, you will consider that to be the best one. But if you listen to the sound difference, Sega had the way better sound when it comes to uh, the music here. And it's just a catchy, catchy score. I'm definitely going to give it uh, music to... The Sega Genesis. So, so far, it's a two to one. Now we're going to talk finally the replay, va uh, replay value. Both games have some really great replay value. Um, but I will have to say, from a standpoint, I will have to give it to the Super Nintendo. Mainly because, and this is pure technicality, mainly because the gameplay is just better. I think the presentation is better. When it comes to actual capturing Batman, the animated series, I think it captures that very well. And the Rogues Gallery, you some some might argue it has a stronger Rogues Gallery because you got Poison Ivy, Catwoman, Riddler, Joker, and they actually have some story beats with it. But I will definitely have to say, from a, just as pure technicality, because I absolutely love the Sega Genesis version, I will have to say that the best version though is the Super Nintendo mainly because of what it was able to present what it was able to do just from a graphical standpoint from a gameplay standpoint what Batman was able to do but using his gadgets something that I thought was kind of weird that the Sega Genesis didn't do that like actually having Batman be Batman by using gadgets but they went for a more arcadey style feel but if we're talking Batman here and Batman is not arcadey. Batman is slick. Batman uses gadgets. So I think a more beat em up approach worked very well with this. So definitely I'm going to have to give this one to Batman, The Adventures of Batman Robin, the Super Nintendo version. Far more superior, way better. And it has some really crazy, unique boss battles, as you can see here. So I'm definitely going to give it to the Super Nintendo. What do you guys think? Uh, if you used to play this game back in the days, 
What did you think was the superior version? Comment below. Let us know. Let's have a quick discussion. And don't forget, you guys, to visit otakosandgeeks.com. We do more stuff there. Uh, you'll see more posts such as interviews. We do lists. We do a lot of things like that. We cover anime. Everything from anime to zombie. Everything. We cover mostly everything. So definitely check us out at otakosandgeeks.com. If you're watching this on our YouTube channel, please like, share, and subscribe if you like what we do. Later days.